Welcome to XAR Template Tutorial Lesson 132 for the XAR Web Designer 10 Premium Software, which is the newest version of the website design software from XAR. In this video, I'm going to compare a super site versus a conventional website. Now, keep in mind, I'm not going to actually open the XAR software, but instead, I'm going to explain to you the differences to help you decide when you should use a super site versus when you should use a conventional website. So, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we're going to do is actually look at this diagram and I'm going to walk you through the difference between a super site versus a conventional website. The first thing you should know is that a super site is geared towards a smaller website. And what I mean by that is a website that has less web pages. If you're building a larger website, a conventional website will be the better choice. Now keep in mind with a conventional website, you can actually use it for a larger or a smaller website, but for a super site, you only want to use that when you're creating a smaller website. So even though I didn't write smaller or larger for conventional website, you can use a conventional website for a smaller or larger website. So let's talk a little bit about a conventional website. For a conventional website, you have a unique title, description, and keywords or key phrases for every single web page. And that's what the TDK stands for. Again, that stands for title for T, D for description and K for keywords and key phrases. Okay. And that's the reason that I have the underline under here is because I want to make sure that you understand that the K stands for keywords or key phrases or both at the same time. So for each of these pages in the conventional website, each one will have its own unique content, which is what this squiggly lines here represents. So the content that's written on the front part of the page, in other words, what the viewer is going to see on your website, that content that's written on your front page is going to be in alignment with the TDK or the title, description, and keywords and key phrases. So in other words, if your content is about cookies, your title should have somewhere in that title it should have the word cookies. And somewhere in the description it should talk about the cookies. And, and somewhere in the keywords and key phrases it should have something dealing with cookies. Okay, so if you're writing content on your web page that deals with cookies, it should relate to the title description and keywords and key phrases. So if you created another page, so let's say page two, and it has its own unique content, that content should match the title description and keywords and key phrases or the TDK. So if in the second page you're writing about uh, chocolate, then the title description and keywords and key phrases should have something to do with chocolate. Okay. And that same, uh, technique would apply for page three, page four, page five, or however many pages that you have in your website. And the benefit of having your own unique TDK that matches up with the content on every page is that it will help with your SEO, or in other words, your search engine optimization, which is going to help you rank better on the search engines. So hopefully that helps you to better understand the benefits of using the conventional website is that you can have a unique title description and keywords and key phrases that will match up with the content. And this allows you to create a very large website or a very small website without affecting your SEO in a negative way or your search engine optimization. With super sites, it's the exact opposite of a conventional website. And what I mean by that is that every single page in a super site will use the exact same TDK or the same exact title, description, and keywords and key phrases. So in other words, if the content on page one talks about cookies and you have a relevant TDK that talks about cookies when you get to page two if it talks about chocolate for the content which is represented by these squiggly lines the TDK is not going to change to match the content that talks about chocolate it's going to still talk about cookies which is something that you don't want to do and that's going to hurt your SEO or your search engine optimization so in other words as you create new pages with new content it's going to hurt your SEO because that TDK is not going to be able to change as you create new pages, which is why you want to limit the number of pages that you create. Because if you start to create a bunch of pages, like you get to eight, 10, or even get up to a hundred pages, it's going to start to seriously affect your SEO in a negative way. So if you're creating a smaller website, I recommend that you create a uh, super site. If it's like maybe eight or nine pages, a super site might be just fine as long as the content is relevant to the TDK. If you believe that you're going to have content that's going to change as you create new pages that's not going to be relevant to the TDK, my recommendation is that you stick with the conventional website. 
because that's going to be a better benefit for you. So you might be asking, why would you use a super site? Well, the benefit of using a super site is that you'll be able to have special mobile transitions that will look really cool on mobile devices and even on your desktop. The other benefit is that you're going to be able to add some presentation features that allow you to scroll in a unique way on a mobile device. So if you set up a horizontal transition, which is represented by the left to right arrows that I have drawn there, you're going to be able to go left or right by swiping with your finger on your mobile device. If you set up a vertical presentation, you're going to be able to swipe up and down and go through the different pages on a website. So there are some benefits to having a super site and the main benefit is that it's going to give you a better user experience on mobile devices. So I hope that this video was helpful in helping you understand when you should use a super site versus when you should use a conventional website. And if it was helpful, don't forget to embed, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for future videos on the newest version of the Xara software, which is Xara Web Designer 10 Premium. Have a great day.